Hey YouTubers, uh, what we're going to do right now is we're going to build our production forge, our little production mini forge. Uh, it's going to be slightly bigger than the Brazel mini forge and um, we're going to have to rename it because it's not going to be the same forge. That forge is sort of a do-it-yourselfers type of a thing. Um, this is going to be the actual forge so I was thinking we'd call it the Brazel Mighty Forge. Um, it's only a little bit bigger, but I don't know. I like the sound of it. The Mighty Forge. So, uh, it'll either be the Brazel Mighty Forge or be the modern blacksmith Mighty Forge. I don't know. Uh, I thought about playing around with I might actually be able to burn Brazel into the side of it, and that'd be kind of cool. So, here we go. Let's get the... The first thing, for me anyway, that dictates this forge is the whole kit has to fit in this box. This is a good size box, and I happen to so, have a lot of them. It's going to be about 17 on the inside, long, uh, 13 wide, and 4 inches high. So, yeah, whatever we come up with, it's got to fit in that box, but it's a good size box, so it should be lots of room for everything. So, let's go. Okay, so what we've got now, this is uh, after two hours of designing. We have the, uh, the first, uh, first working prototype. Um, there's a few features on here that are going to work with the other unit, but, or uh, with the complete unit. Um, there's bolt holes in several locations so you can figure out how to put some legs on it. I already have an idea about how to make conduit work, which is going to be quite simple. Um, just a matter of flattening out the end and bolting it on. And uh, anyway, it's kind of hard to see what all this stuff will do. I'm going to cut it and bend it, and then we'll uh, then I'll go over what it all does. So anyway, we've just got to do a few little finishing touches and then uh, send it off to get burnt. Okay, we're all ready to cut this thing, so uh, we're going to. Go up here and get her going. Okay, she's ready to go. Hey, there's our blank and we just got to bend it up And a few minor adjustments here.
Okay, so what you're going to do with your conduit, you're going to get four legs out of one piece of uh, 10 foot conduit. It's 120 inches. First, I cut it in half at 60. I didn't show you that, but now I'm going to cut my two uh, 30 inch pieces. legs about the same length. I'm going to find 30 here. Somewhere around there. four short legs. Now uh, these legs may seem a bit short to you, but uh, if you want to make them longer, it's going to take extra conduit. So I'm just trying to be uh, as efficient as I can with this. And uh, it'll be a bit low, but I understand not everybody's six foot three like I am. I a bunch of this, probably about uh, three inches or so. Just like that. Yeah, I just checked it. This is about three inches. So get it flat like that. Get all four flat on one end. And then we're going to drill them. So what I made up, it's going to come with the kit, is a, a little drill guide. It's going to mock the uh, holes that are in the side. So you'll just place that in the center and just take a, a pencil and put, put that edge to the end and then uh, just mark them and drill them okay, out. Okay, so what I do is I take my guide and I put it on the end of my conduit, like so. Center up the holes, conduit, put that to the end of the piece that you've just cut. Uh, I like to grab it with a vice grip, you don't really have to, but it will make it easier. Clamp that on, then take something pointy, steel or a, a sharp pencil, and just, I'm scribing it, but you can take a pencil and draw it. Just get in your centers there. This will be done a little better when you get the uh, actual piece, but. Take that off and you'll have a, uh, a mark that you can use to uh, drill. So then I just drill them all out. With a slightly larger than 3 8 bit. This will probably be easier to see than a scribe, especially on galvanized. try and put the flatter side like when you hammer something flat like that it doesn't always kind of bend flat to the center so try to put the flatter side in the bolt inside and uh, just get one on there at first just snug it with your hand pretty good Okay, then you're going to take your uh, drill and you're going to ream that hole so that it'll uh, slip that bolt in easy enough. Just like that. And you can put the other one in, put your nut on there. Oops, hot. Don't burn yourself. Stuff does get hot. Just snug them up. Hold your forge down and then bend that out. Don't over bend it because you don't want to be bending that back and forth too many times. You're going to break it. You may not need braces if you don't move this around too much, but you'll probably want to gear up some kind of a flat bar across here for a brace. But it is pretty stout with conduit. 
I think if you didn't move it too much, you wouldn't have to. So we just got to do two more and we'll get that done.